Hi everyone, it's Gamer Number 98 here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we completed the Dongle's Cavern and we got the Goron's Ruby. And in this episode, I'm not. In this episode and the next, I'm not really gonna advance the plot. I rather want to do some side quests. Like there's one we can do here in Goron City, and we need bombs. What do you want? I'm not going to ask her. Okay, so here in Goron City, don't go, don't go up there, Link. On this floor, there is a Goron rolling around, and here he comes. You know what? Let's take off the Hylian shield. We don't need it anymore. I mean, I can't imagine how painful it must be to roll with that thing on your back. Um. I'll keep it that way. Okay, here it comes. So this Goron who's rolling around will hurt you. You want to bomb him. And it will make him stop. You want to bomb him in this part. In this section. I don't know if that's going to count. Only one way to find out. Alright. I'll give you this in praise of your courage. Yeah, that's right. And we get a big bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs up to 30. That's our first of two bomb upgrades. Of course. This will only work if you make him stop in this area, this tunnel area. Can I make that? Because that's a bombable wall. I know I could just use the bomb flower, but whatever. Whoa! Okay, you know what? I'll use the bomb flower for this one. Oh no, I'm directly in the path of the Goron. This part I'm going to won't really help out that much. Just keep bombing these walls and at the end of the tunnel. Whoa. A really big Goron. I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready, okay? Five or six years? For what? Whatever. Okay, there's another thing I'd like to do, but it's not here in Goron City. Oh, I survived. I didn't take any damage. We're going back to the Lost Woods. Because now with our bombs, we can access a few new areas. Like bomb this rock here. And there's a hole. Whee! <laughs> no, this isn't the right hole. Oh wait, I can get a bug. Okay, bugs have a special purpose. If you want to get all the gold sculptures, you will want to use bugs. There we go. You can release it by pressing C. This kind of bug prefers to live in small holes in the ground. Of course, you go away, gossip stone. Okay, five rupees. Well, every little bit counts, especially for something I plan to do in this recording session, which could eat away at my rupees quite a bit. Especially with how annoying it can be. Okay, I probably want to show off what these gold sculptures... What am I saying? What these bugs can be used for. Well, we can go this way, and I can demonstrate. Of course, there are some business scrubs that are going to be a nuisance, so I might want to get rid of... Okay. A patch of soft soil. There's a ten of these in the game. They have two purposes. One is something I'm not going to detail now. And the other, well, if you put these bugs inside, quickly catch it so that you can use it over and over again. They will crawl into the patch. And then... A gold sculpture will pop right out. And there we go. Okay, let's see. Alright, this rock here. We'll bomb this one next. Just give it a good toss. And underneath it, there was a, a blue rupee. Okay. Alright, this is the one that I wanted to bomb. Just 
just bomb this rock and fall down the hole. Now there's two business scrubs in here. One of these is what we... Which one is it? I think it's the one in the back. Oh right, no. No Deku seeds. Okay, it's this one. I surrender. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku nuts, but it will cost you 40 rupees. Do we have a deal? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, we've got a Deku nut upgrade, so now we can carry up to 30. And he dropped us a recovery heart, how nice. Okay, what's next? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's another patch of soft soil here in the Lost Woods, so I guess I'd better take care of that. Ow. Don't roll in the walls, Link. Seriously. It will give you a headache. Okay. I don't want the letter. What the hell are you doing? I want the bug. Okay, so where we met that skull kid. Oops, I went the wrong way. Okay. Let's backflip into there just to be funny. Alright, that's that's right. Okay, another patch of soft soil here. We'll just do what we did before. Take the bugs out of the bottle. How are they going to breathe in there anyway? Okay, quickly catch one. It's weird. You catch one bug and yet you always end up releasing three. Okay, so they're going to go in there. Let's see if I can do this. Nope. Oh, I can do this. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to Goron City. And just for you who like this, for some weird reason, teleport! And we are back in Goron City. I'm on the top floor and there's some boulders we can bomb. And we can access a secret little area back here. Okay, there's these grey... Um, these grey boulders, they are indestructible. And so are the brown ones. Well, to bombs, that is. The brown ones cannot be bombed. If you wanted to get rid of the brown ones, you have to wait later. So really, we can only take care of the yellow ones. Waste massive bombs in the process. Okay. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. We actually get some pretty good rewards here. We get a purple rupee, which is worth 50 rupees. And in the treasure chest, we get... Another purple rupee. But we're not done here yet. Gold Sculptula was in the crate. Okay, that's pretty much all we can do about this area with all these boulders, so let's get out of here. And I'm done with Goron City. I'm going to be going back to Kakariko Village, but there's two more gold sculptures we can get on the way down. And it doesn't matter if it's night time or not for any of these two. It is night time right now, so... I guess that's fine. Okay, let's go. So, you might have noticed there was a patch of soft soil outside of the dongle's cavern. Well, let's deal with that. And hey, this Goron moved out the way. Okay, here we go. Pop. Here. Do 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 do. Okay, quickly catch the bug again. And it's about to turn daytime. Ok, 
Okay, here comes the gold sculpture. I'm waiting for you. Whoa, Nelly. I miscalculated my jump attack. That was my bad. Okay, it's officially daytime, which is good for us because a lot of the side quests I'm gonna do involve Castle Town, which is really inactive during the night. Even though there is some things you can do there, it's best to do it in the day because everything else will be closed. Okay, there's a gold sculpture. Now, you'd think you won't be able to reach this one's token, but you can actually. You might not look it, but you can climb this wall. Yeah. They didn't really make it obvious that you could climb that wall, but it can be done. That should bring us up to... Okay, we got 19. Oh, one more way from the next reward. And we can get it right now, actually. Well, I better get my bugs ready. We're going to the graveyard. And we're not going to go there in any order. Any. No. Uh, Link. Dun 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 Link! Stop moonwalk failing! Yeah, do the moonwalk. It actually makes you move faster, believe it or not. A lot of speedrunners do this. Because you do move faster when you moonwalk. We're moonwalking into the graveyard. Maybe we'll have a thriller. I'll stop it now. And now, entering style with a backflip. Okay, over here, there is a patch of soft soil. We'll just rinse and repeat. Yay! Is this okay, mommy? I have to do it. Come on out. Die! Fail. Whoa, did I just do double damage? This does double damage? Really? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to teleport again, and this time I'm going to meet you in Castle Town. Now this thing is a magical portal that will take me there. On second thought, I just remembered we've got 20 gold sculpture tokens now so we can get our next prize. The curse has been broken. Thank you, here's a reward. For 20 gold sculpture we get the Stone of Agony. If you equip to Rumble Pack, it will react to nearby secrets. And thankfully, I do have a Rumble Pack. Listen carefully and I will prove it to you. If you heard that sound, that was the vibration of me rolling into the wall. So the Stone of Agony will rumble whenever you're close to a hidden cave. A hidden underground cave, like it's doing it right now. So, if we bomb this area, then we uncover the secret hole. Okay, so in this hole... We have some re-deads. Uh-oh. Awesome. If you can add- Oh, okay. You got magic jar, your magic- Yeah. Green magic jars restore your magic. If you can actually hit him with a jump attack, it actually counts as two hits, so therefore it will do quadruple damage. And we got a treasure chest. Open her up. Or him up, I can't tell genders. And a huge rupee! This rupee's worth a whopping 200 rupees. Of course, I can only hold up to 30 of those. But that was our first huge rupee of the game. There's loads more in the game. Okay. So, for real this time, I'm going to teleport to Castle Town. Okay, we're in Castle Town for real this time. Okay, a bunch of things to do here. First off, I want to go in this building. This building, you can't do anything with yet until after you beat the Dodongo's Cavern. So it's the best time to do it now. The Bomb Tube Bowling Alley. And I hate this. This is a mini game and I hate it, it so much. 
Huh? What? Uh-oh! A customer! Welcome to our Cutting Edge Amusement Center, the Bomb Chew Bowling Alley. Do you want to know what you can win? Well, it's a secret. Uh, I can't tell you until you've paid to play. RIP OFF! Oh, well actually your prizes do vary, but there's two I want to get in particular. It's 3 rupees per game, which is kind of expensive, so that's why you probably want to get as many rupees as possible and a wallet upgrade before you play this game. Okay, we are introduced to a new item here called the Bomb Chew. Aim for the hole in the center and let Bomb Chew go. Bomb Chews are basically the same as bombs, only this time they move by themselves. They go up walls, on ceilings, and then explode after a certain amount of time has passed or when they hit something. Okay, this is where we are told what our prize will be if we can win. Okay, we get a bunch of bomb chews. Oh, whoop. Well, whatever. There are three holes. And we want to get our bomb chews into the hole. Of course, we use our B button for this. Now, the first one is easy, but the second one can be the most troublesome for me. Because you've got that trap and you've got that cuckoo there that serves obstacles. This can be really... Oh no. Damn you. Damn you, cuckoo. Damn you. I'm only gonna... I'm only playing for bomb chews though. It's probably not worth it. Oh great, that's not... Oh, oh, okay. Alright. Okay, the third and final one is a monster. Because there's this giant cuckoo in the back. Now this is pretty much all luck based now. I just like to shoot right down the center. Only them up failing like you wouldn't believe it. Is that gonna do it? No, of course not. If only that Oh, I stunned the cuckoo. That means I've won. Oh yeah. I won the prize I didn't wanna get. And we got some bomb chew. Yeah. There's no plural. Okay, yeah, I want to play again. What can I get this time? Ah, there we go. Piece of heart. I gotta do this. Okay. First one, easy. as cake. Mmm, cake. No life or cake. Okay, what's... Oh, wow, slow down. Oh, that's easy. Just wait for the... Why is there so much slow down here? I don't remember experiencing slow down here. Well, we blew that up, so I'm just gonna go straight ahead and aim another. Whoops, sorry, I bumped the mic. Did I make it? Ugh! I can't go into first person view because it's cheating! Move it! Move it! Ugh! Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, for the love of... You see what the problem is? They will like... Oh wait, that giant cuckoo is the biggest problem. Oh, oh, oh! Baby! Give me my prize! Give me my prize! Yes! But I'm not done here yet, damn it. And we now have a new heart added to our life meter. Okay, bombs! Damn you, woman! Whoa! What was that for? Oh, great, just brilliant. I am on my last bomb chew. Okay, let's do it. Of course I want to play again. There we go. The bomb bag upgrade. That will let us carry 40 bombs. Okay, I gotta... What? Okay. Go. Why did I... Oh, great. That's gonna really screw me over now. Oh, maybe not. Wow. I have no idea what happened there. Okay, bring on the slowdown. Come on, if I can win that bomb bag, then I don't have to play this minigame ever again. I'll be free. Oh, bloody hell. 
giant cuckoo. Move it! Giant chili! Giant cuckoo! Uh, okay. I'm gonna aim here. Move it! Move it! Move your little brother Heidi! Oh! Winner! Hip hip hooray! I think I just won the game! Hip hip hooray! You got the biggest bomb bag, now you can count up to 40 bombs. What the hell no! Alright, you don't have to believe you don't want to. Yay, I don't get forced.